What's up you guys this is Danny B and you're watching the trash stash and uh, this is part three of the VHS collection all right here we go okay first up we got night of the living dead and um, this is an old-school Hollywood gold copy uh, I got this thing at Suncoast video back in the day for like five bucks or something like that uh, yeah this thing, you know, is, uh, the copyright was, uh, not good on this or something. Uh, what do you call that? This is public domain, so it's just, uh, everyone is putting out their own version. Alright, after that we got Raw Deal. The system gave him a raw deal. Nobody gives him a raw deal. This is a, uh, Schwarzenegger action movie. I believe this was before he did the Terminator. And this one's pretty funny. It's um he's a cop, he goes undercover and infiltrates the mob and um it's pretty ridiculous cuz it's Schwarzenegger. You know, he he would stand out like a sore thumb trying to go undercover. <laughs> it's pretty good uh if you love Cadillacs, this is the movie for you. They must have been sponsored by Cadillac or something cuz there's shot after shot after shot of Cadillacs. 80s catalogs, two of the cool ones. Alright, next up we got Monster. And, uh, I don't really know what this is. It says John Carradine's in it. Um, yeah, I haven't watched this. Let me know if, if that's good, if anyone's seen it. Alright, next up we got Pet Cemetery, And, uh, a lot of people love this movie. Believe it or not, I have not even watched it. <laughs> Never seen it. Uh, I should check it out because I, you know, people are crazy over this movie. All right. After that, there's one I talked about already, but Uncle Sam, I want you dead. It just says Uncle Sam dead on there. There you go. I want you dead. Cover's awesome. Uh, the movie's okay. This is by William Lustig, who directed Maniac, Vigilante, and Maniac Cop. And, um, it's a slasher about a, um, a veteran who dies and comes back and, uh, wears, like, an Uncle Sam mask and goes around killing people that are unpatriotic. It's pretty funny shit. Alright. After that, another one I talked about already. You talking to me? And, uh, I found this thing at the flea market for 50 cents. And, uh, this was one of the weirdest movies I've ever seen, I think. This is about, um, this guy, he's an actor who's obsessed with Taxi Driver. And then just a bunch of weird shit happens. And he becomes friends with a billionaire. And the billionaire is a racist guy who, uh, loves milk. And when... The actor's best friend, who is a black guy, he, he's on a billboard for milk. The millionaire loses it and tries to have him killed. And uh, it's all up to this guy to do the right thing. Yeah. Weird, weird movie. Check it out. If, I think it's on, they might have that on Amazon Prime right now. Check it out if you can. Alright, after that we got Alone with a Stranger. And uh, I haven't watched this... Um, it looks kind of cool. All right, then we got a, a classic Escape from New York ripoff, 1990, The Bronx Warriors, and um, this is a, a Italian. You know they did like move ripoff movies a lot. Uh, ripoff of Escape from New York and kind of also ripoff of The Warriors a little bit, and. Um, it's all right. It's not that good. I I have the three pack on Blu-ray of like this one and the, the two sequels, and um, I'm halfway through part two, and it's I like it a little bit better than the first one. It's got Fred Williamson in it though, who's you know 
from all those 70s movies. Uh, what's funny, though, is they actually filmed this in New York. Um, even Escape from New York was not filmed in New York. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Next up, we got Watchers. And uh, I heard this is good, too. I haven't watched it, though. Believe it or not, I have not watched The Watchers. Corey Ham's in it. All right. Next up, we got Humongous from the makers of Prom Night. Uh, I haven't watched this. Yeah, I never saw it. I watched, I've, I got this at um, Goodwill for like a quarter or something like that. Same with this. Next up, we got The Dark. Yeah, one day I went to Goodwill and there's they just had like a ton of these like rare kind of uh, media videos and stuff. And that's where I got that zombie thon big box. They were all like real cheap. I was just like, man, it's probably the best like Goodwill score I ever had in videos. Never watched it though. Same with this, never watched it. Hell's Highway. I don't know if this is like one of those faces of death kind of things with car crashes or something. I don't want to. Yeah, it looks like it is just from that picture right there, which I'm not interested in seeing. I could watch like all the slasher, slashers and horror movies and stuff, but when it comes to real life footage and stuff, I, I don't fuck with that. All right, next up we got Stepfather 2, Make Room for Dead. And this is pretty good. This is uh, Terry O'Quinn back as the stepfather. And uh, he escapes the mental hospital. And um, he puts on a new identity. Meets a new family. And um, yeah. It's, it's a lot like the first one. But I believe this time he's also impersonating a therapist. And uh, Caroline Williams from Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 is in it. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, it might be a little better than the first one. I, I kind of forget, uh, I'll have to watch them back to back and see which one I like better. Both are good, though. Part three is, part three doesn't have a minute, but I even like part three a lot. Alright, next up, we got Cyberzone. And, uh, this is another one I have not watched. Believe it or not, I don't watch a lot of my own collection on VHS. Same with this, never watched it. I married a monster. I just like the cover, but I'll have to check it out. I hear it's like a um, made-for-TV uh, sci-fi horror movie. And this thing, <laughs> never watched it. Planet of the Dinosaurs. Uh, looks like one of those old-school like claymation dinosaur movies. I heard this is good, but still, I've not watched it. Blue Monkey. And, uh... Yeah, it's, uh, I gotta check it out. It looks cool. Alright, next up we got a classic, Christine. This is John Carpenter's uh, Killer Car movie. And it's written by Stephen King. And, uh, it's pretty good. Uh, it's a good double feature with Maximum Overdrive. You got the killer trucks in that one, and then the killer car in this one. And, uh... It's not my favorite Carpenter movie. The music in it is really good, but I would say it's maybe my fourth or fifth favorite of his. Maybe even sixth or seventh, because he has so many classic ones. All right, next up we got one of my all-time favorites, Gremlins. And uh, I got this at Best Buy back when they still sold VHSs, believe it or not. I, this is like my own copy I've had. Since like probably 1993 or something. Yeah. I watched the shit out of this movie. So good. I love the Gremlins. Um, I like this one a lot better than part two. I know a lot of people prefer part two. But I like part one. Alright. Then we got Friday the 13th. And uh, probably one of my least favorite in the franchise. But it's still a cool tape to have. Next up, we got Pulp Fiction. And uh, I was on my way to work about a year or two ago, and I just saw a box of VHSs, and this was one of them that was in it. 
Very cool. I've had it on DVD long before the VHS, but it's still awesome find. And then we get Batman Returns. And uh, it's my second favorite Batman movie. First one is the original with Michael Keaton. I, I only pretty much like the, the Tim Burton Batmans. I don't really care about the third or fourth one in this franchise. And then I don't like the Dark Knight movies, really. Very cool. All right, and then, um, let's see. I talked about these already, but I'll cover them in this, too. First up, we got Carnosaur, and this was Competition with Jurassic Park. Uh, this is Roger Corman. Uh, he produced it. <laughs> what does it say here? The Academy of Science Fiction, Fantasy, and Horror Golden Scroll Award. And I, I looked that up before, and that's um, Roger Corman gave that to himself, pretty much. <laughs> this is definitely surprising, though. Is thumbs up, terrific. I like this movie. Gene Siskel gave this a thumbs up. Now, do you know how many movies that guy gave thumbs down to, and he gave thumbs up to this? <laughs> that's pretty funny. Uh, it ain't no walk in the park, Chris Gore. Awesome. These dinosaurs have bite. Yep, they do. Ripping people's guts out and all that. And uh, The actual plot of this is really weird. It's like some lady hates humans so much that she's impregnating every woman with dinosaurs or some shit. Like <laughs> yeah, pretty good. All right, then we got Carnosaur 2. It's my favorite in the Carnosaur series. Uh, this is a ripoff of Aliens, but um, it's people. They don't go to space. They're in Area 51, and instead of aliens, there's uh, dinosaurs. And then you find out there's a guy who's pretty much playing exactly the um, character Burke from uh, Aliens. He's like the carnosaur version of Burke, and he's not telling him what's up at first. And then when he's almost dead, he gives he like tells what the, what's really going on, and then. It's, uh, the dinosaurs are chewing through the wires, and if they chew through all the wires, then it'll launch all the, uh, nuclear warheads and blow up the world. Ridiculous. But, I like this one the best out of the three. Then we got part three. I only watched this, like, halfway through or something. It was, I don't know, it was pretty weird. It was, like, a group of military people, and then the, uh the footage kept like jumping or something like they edited it it's all weird yeah i'll have to watch the rest and get back to you on it all right then we got rumple stilt skin this is classic if you like leprechaun or even um maybe even the ghoulies you'd probably like this this is like rumple stilt skin the fairy tale guy but he's in modern times in the 90s and um He's trying to get a kid, and then he's also, like, ripping truckers' heads off and riding motorcycles and crazy shit like that. And it stars the guy from, I believe he went on to be a big uh, actor in Star Trek. Uh, what's this guy's name? Max Grodenchik. He was, like, a big Star Wars actor. He had a character on that show or something like that. All right, next up, we got Tales from the Hood and... Uh, one of my favorite 90s horror movies. Uh, one of my favorite horror... Uh, one of my favorite soundtracks, too. Hip-hop soundtracks. Uh, yeah, it's got four stories. It's basically like like Creep Show or Tales from the Crypt, but based on like urban settings. Okay, next up we got Shredder Orpheus. And um, this was about a skater... Or, uh, it's been a while since I've seen this. It's, I believe, a skater or someone else that he's friends with dies. And then it's kind of like what goes on in their afterlife or something like that. Uh, pretty trippy movie. It was pretty good. I just forget the whole thing. Yeah. Alright, next up, we got one of my favorite thrillers. 
call me. And um, this is like this chick is being harassed on the phone by somebody and she doesn't know who it is. And then someone she runs into a bar, uh, she suspects it's the guy. And um, I won't give away too much, but uh, it's very 80s and it's got Steve Buscemi as a guy named Switchblade in one of his first roles. Yeah. This movie's pretty cool. If you can find it, check it out. All right, next up, we got Working Stiffs. And <laughs> this is John Belushi and Michael Keaton in a sitcom. And I believe this is like the pilot episode or something. A couple episodes. Yeah, very weird. Uh, Keaton is probably my favorite actor. So when I saw him on this box, I just picked it up. This was a, maybe 50 cents or a quarter or something. Very weird. I've never really even heard of this show, but I picked it up. I don't believe I even watched it. I should watch it. If anyone's ever seen this on TV, let me know. Alright, next up, we got Wild Geese 2. And uh, I don't know what this is. I, I'm, You know, obviously it's some kind of action movie. Maybe like some kind of... Uh, Military action movie, but I haven't watched it. Same with this one. Year of the Gun. I never watched this. Director of the Manchurian Candidate. So, um, who directed that guy? Frank. Yeah, John Frankenheimer. Who, the guy that did Ronin uh, did this. I gotta check it out. Because I like Ronin a lot. And this guy, uh,. He's great at filming, like, car chase scenes. Alright, next up, we got The Islands. And I guess this is some kind of slasher or something. Um, I think, uh, what's his name? Michael, uh, Michael Caine is in this. Yeah, gotta check it out. I haven't watched it. Okay, next up, we got Alligator 2, The Mutation. The balance of nature has been tipped to terror. Never watched it. <laughs> yeah, I gotta check it out. Uh, let me know if it's good. I think Alligator 1 was uh, um, like an Italian movie. And it was like a ripoff of Jaws or something. Let me know if that's the same thing as this. Another one I never watched. Slaughter in San Francisco. And this is Chuck Norris, some kind of action movie. Alright, another one, never watched it. Well, I did watch it, actually, Death Row Diner. I turned it off. It was really bad. <laughs> There's some kind of um, shot on video thing about a guy, uh, and yeah, I don't know. It was It was really bad, and I just turned it off. All right, then um, next up we got Hell Knight. And this is one of the few horror VHS that I actually have like two copies of. I don't know, I came across another one one time and I just bought it for like a dollar. But Yeah, this movie, it's okay. It's, it's kind of boring. Um, I think if it was shorter, it would be good. Because this thing goes on for, I want to say, two hours and maybe even like 20 minutes. And uh, it's a little, it's pretty slow. And the fact that they're in like these like old medieval costumes doesn't help. Uh, it just makes it feel like really, really old. Because it's, it's, they're staying in a castle overnight. I don't know. This was, you know what? This was probably a good one if you were in the 80s and this came on TV late night. This would probably be like an exciting one to stay up and watch at midnight or something. But for me, it was like, I was like, man... I just want this thing to be over. <laughs> yeah. Probably like the characters in the movie. They just wanted the whole night to be over. Alright. Then we get Abel Ferrara's China Girl. And this is kind of like a Romeo and Juliet. Um, between um, an Asian girl and an Italian guy. And like what it is is Asian people are moving into the Italian neighborhood. So they're kind of at war. And then... Um, 
Yeah, I guess uh, they kind of form a romance, even though the two families don't want them to be together. Uh, it's okay. It's not one of my favorite Abel Ferrara movies. You know, he's he's had a bunch of classics like uh, King of New York, uh, Bad Lieutenant, Driller Killer, Miss 45, and then a uh, good one called Fear City. And It's okay, though. Music's in it pretty, is pretty good. The music. All right, next up, we got, I don't know what this is, but M3D, Music in Three Dimension. And it looks like some kind of, um, some kind of demo computer animation thing from the late 90s or something. Yeah, I don't know. It looked interesting to me. I might check it out someday. All right, then speaking of that, uh, next up we get The Visitor from Outer Space, Ronald McDonald. And, uh, you know, if I haven't found the time to watch all of these cool ones, I definitely have not found the time to watch this. Yeah. It looks like it's the uh, guy that did Rugrats, though. Like, that looks like um, Chucky right there. Chucky grew up to be the Hamburglar. And then uh, that's... Uh, that's, uh, what's his name's mom? That's Tommy's mom right there is Ronald McDonald. <laughs> oh, and there you go. There's Angelica. Funny shit. Last up, uh, this is gonna be it for the, um, part three, but there will be part four and five coming soon. Last up, we got The Public Eye with Joe Pesci. And, uh, this is one of his most underrated movies uh, this takes place in the 40s, and he's a photographer. And um, I kind of forget the plot. Uh, all I remember is it's pretty good. And uh, his character in it's pretty cool. Um, there's a part I specifically remember where the girl is kind of like going over his um, collection of photos and being like, like, wow, this is really good. And then later she kind of walks by, he's in an alley taking a, like moving a drunk guy around to get a good shot and she's kind of disgusted by him. Yeah. It's, it's cool though, I gotta rewatch this because I remember liking it. Pesci's another one of my favorite actors and this is a good role he's in. Alright you guys, that's part three of the VHS collection. There will be a part four and part five coming soon. Hit that subscribe, hit that like button. And uh, all that stuff. Uh, yeah. All right, you guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, it's been a pleasure showing all these videos and stuff. Um, yeah. Peace out.